Welcome to Professional Pick Practice, an e-learning game for veterinary students. The game design resembles adventure and simulation games. The idea is to provide veterinary students with a safe virtual environment in which they can practice different aspects of performing herd visits in pick herds. The game is to motivate students and to facilitate and assist in the acquisition of important interdisciplinary veterinary skills. Students obtain points by correct observations and actions. As this is a demo version, some functions are not yet working, and hence they will not be demonstrated in this screencast. The game starts with the student drawing a herd at random. The herd has a well-defined disease or problem. The actual visit starts at the stable door. At all times during playing the game, the student has access to a mobile phone with a number of different help functions. The mobile phone is not working in the demo. Along with the mobile phone, the students have access to a journal. The journal contains anamnestic information, and as the student works through the game, all information collected will be summarized in the journal. This could be information obtained from dialogues with the farmer, clinical observations, and sample results. At all times, students can go back to the journal to review observations done previous during the visit. Upon entry into the herd, certain safety procedures should be applied to avoid contamination. This would be correct change of clothes and washing hands. All actions are journalized and correct ones rewarded with game points. In the herd, students should talk to the farmer as to obtain valuable anamnestic information. There will be several possible lines of dialogue with the farm, some leading to important clues and others not. Important clues are added to the journal. Students are encouraged to explore all lines of dialogue. Through communication with the farmer, the students will gain insight into which questions that are of importance when collecting information about the herd and the animals. Farmer's response will sometimes be misleading and student needs to seek a new dialogue line to obtain relevant information. The dialogue is only partly developed at this point and the game response to correct and wrong action still needs to be decided. In this case, a very relevant information on farmers' visit to eastern parts of Germany prior to the start of herd symptoms will help the students to identify the correct diagnosis. Having obtained information from the farmer, the student can choose to select a pick pen, point and click, and a video sequence will show typical clinical signs and behavioral patterns of affected pigs. Having seen the video, certain pics in the pen can be selected for a closer examination. It will be possible to select material for laboratory examinations and receive results of culturing during the visit. Laboratory results are real copies from veterinary institutes as for the students to get used to the format.
all clinical findings and laboratory results will be journalized. Having examined the animal, students must go back to the farmer to seek permission to perform an autopsy. Performing the autopsy, the student will be provided with close-ups. Pathological changes must be noticed and correctly identified from a list with multiple choices. In this manner, students can practice the correct pathoanatomical diagnosis. Upon finishing the autopsy, the student is to communicate important findings, relevant actions, treatment regime and future diagnostic, prognostic and preventive plans to the farmer. In this specific case, students must comply with specific legislation on notifiable diseases. The visit is concluded by selecting the correct diagnosis and prescribing appropriate treatment or in this case action. In cases where treatment is possible, students are provided with online access to relevant medical databases. In this demo, we do not evaluate the user, but on the left side you can see possible outcomes. In the final game, user performance will be evaluated in several specific areas. Research-based decisions on point system and best suited pedagogical didactical methods are the main focus on the next phase of this project. Thank you for watching.